my name is Asta Dhami and I love to read. My books are my most prized possessions and sometimes while I'm reading I develop a crush on its author so intense that I do not know what else to do but to make YouTube videos about it. There are five in total. Mitch Albin, The Wise One, The Bronte Sisters for the Stories of Another Time, Rick Rodden for The Magic, Khalid Hussaini for Making Me Cry and Ruskin Bond for being Ruskin Bond. So I'm making this video because uh, someone asked me to share my favorite books and I thought this would be a nice, a little different way to put my favorite books out there. So I came across Mitch Albom's Tuesdays with Muri a long time ago, I think it was 2017. I don't remember why and how exactly I ended up buying that book, but I'm so grateful that I found it. <coughs> It's so simple to read guys it is and it is filled with such meaning if you ask me i think it should be a law to make students make people read this book uh, in their school time after i read tuesdays with money i wanted to read more books by mitch and i came across this book um for one more day obviously tuesdays with money has like a special place in my heart and nothing will ever replace it. The things that Tuesdays with Muri made me feel and made me think about, I can never forget that. But this book comes really close to it. It is um, written by Mitch. It is as simple to read. It is as filled with meaning. And so yeah, if you're a beginner, if you've never read anything, I will strongly recommend Tuesdays with Muri by Mitch Album. And if you like it, you can go ahead and read this and read this one. Uh, let's move on to the Bronte sisters. Um, I've only read Emily and Charlotte Bronte. I haven't read anything by Annie Bronte. These two authors are my favorite classical authors. And that's a huge thing to say because I've read legends like uh, Leo Tolstoy and Charles Dickens and um, Jane Austen but why these two are my favorites I cannot really explain I mean I think it started with Jane Eyre so Jane Eyre for me was never a love story people would tell you that it's a love story but to me, for me it is a story of a woman who grew into becoming this strong independent women that I always aspire myself to become someday. I mean we see today in 21st century also women really struggling to become independent and strong individual and the fact that Charlotte wrote this in 19th century that just you know just blows my mind and yeah I have been in love with Jane Eyre and I have been in love with Charlotte for giving birth to Jane Eyre. And I think, yeah, this is like a true feminist's book. If you have read some books and now you feel that you should uh, get into classics, which you definitely should, do not miss out on these classics. I think Jane Eyre would be a great start. But after uh, I finished reading Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, I wanted to read more of her stuff. And that's when I came across this book. So, Withering Heights. This is by Emily Bronte. Um, Charlotte's sister and I was compelled to read this one. I read this after Jane Eyre and I will say that I wasn't let down. However, this is a love story, I feel, uh, but it's such a dark, selfish, desperate kind of love. So there's a quote in this book, I will just read it out. So Heathcliff was in love with Catherine and when he got the news that Catherine was dead so he said that Catherine Earnshaw may you not rest as long as I'm living you said I killed you haunt me then the murdered do haunt their murderers I believe I know that ghosts have wandered on earth be with me always take any form drive me mad only do not leave me in this abyss where I cannot find you. Every time I read this chord, I get goosebumps. I mean, can you? So when, when he found out that Catherine was dead, 
he wanted to be haunted by her ghost because he preferred that over not having her in his life and i don't know i mean maybe when i'm telling you it sounds okay but when you read the book you'll get what i'm saying this is a kind of love that is very dark but you know when you read it you will know it will leave you with so many emotions i think both the sisters have done an amazing job i love their writing style i love how they've given the plot the characters are so strong and you know it's easier to read compared to any other classics that you read like i have read a lot of things by jane austen and i like her too but the fact that i have to give extra efforts to you know really read the book just takes the fun out of it but i know reading classics is not just about fun but yeah if you're starting out and you want to read classics i think both these books are amazing so so the next author that i'm going to talk about is rick riordan because when you know everyone was geeking about harry potter hogwarts i was you know fighting really hard to get the name of percy jackson and camp half blood out there i mean don't get me wrong i think that jk rowling is one of the bestest writers there is i genuinely believe that but i just feel like rick is actually also you know on the same level that as a writer that's my opinion and it just annoys me that sometimes that people do not know much about percy jackson and people know about harry potter so i'm finally happy that i'm doing my bit to get percy jackson out there i do not care if you're 30 40 25 whatever age if you haven't read percy jackson and you liked harry potter please read percy jackson rick has done amazing work like the plot the characters the monsters everything about this book is just perfect so like the main message of the book according to me was that anything that the society thinks is weird about you is actually your superpower it can be your su superpower so my 12 year old would have loved that i wish i had you know read this sooner and let's move on to the next author that i have a huge 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 crush on and that's kalitha zaini i have read three novels by him a uh, thousand splendid sun uh the kite runner and the mountain echo and i have loved all three of them if you ask me to pick a favorite it will be the thousand splendid suns and i know contrary to the you know huge fan following for kite runner i found thousand splendid suns more close to my heart maybe because it was uh, based around uh, women characters and i i do draw to uh, strong women characters i remember when i i was reading the last pages of this book just in front of my house in the stairs and i was already crying tears were rolling down my cheeks but it just felt not enough i wanted to wail i was infuriated i was i just wanted to cry so loudly because it just broke my heart knowing that for some people in some part of the world this was a reality the cruelty of life the unfairness the poverty the abuse and it just moved me so badly like i really i mean it's so, it's it's funny that i had a crush on kalid husaini for the way he made me cry and for the way he broke my heart but i think it's important to read about such novels too because I think while living our lives we just forget about the privileges that we have that you know that there are people out there who have it worse than you and for reasons that are beyond their control so I highly recommend these three books they are so emotional they will just I mean do yourself a favor and read any of these three books I would and now last but not the least let's talk about Ruskin Bond So I met Ruskin Bond. Um, here is a picture, and I remember I want to say so many things, but I literally forgot to speak in front of him. I just took his signature and then um, 
rushed out of the place. So I have a signature here. Good morning. So if you wanna, so if you want to meet him, he, uh, you can easily do so by visiting his bookshop in Masuri. I do not know what are the situations now, um, but it's very close to my house. I remember I had visited Masuri thrice before I actually ended up meeting him. He's like my mm, first crush, like the first, the very first childhood crush that, you know, never leaves your mind. I just, for me, I just have to, you know, open a Ruskin Mon book and I am transported back to uh, when I had first started reading him. And it's just amazing how simply he writes, how profoundly simple his writing is and how still he manages to move mountains inside of me. So yes, Ruskin Bond is another great recommendation. I have read Rusty Runs Away, The Blue Umbrella, Room in the Roof. Uh, like he has these books in which he uh, uh, has collection of his short stories like this one. So I will be honest, I bought it just for the cover because it was so pretty. But again, it has great, great, great love stories that just made me so with that, I have come to the end of the video. And if, you, if you're just starting out, if you've never read anything and you want to read, start reading, go for Mitch Albin's Tuesdays with Murray. If you have read okay amount of books and you want to get into classics, but you find classics really difficult to read, go for Jane Eyre and or The Woodring Heights. So, and also if you are into things like magical um, Harry Potter kind of stories, I will definitely recommend Rick Rodden's Percy Jackson series. If you really want to feel emotion, you want to read a very heavy book. And if you want to really cry, read anything by Khalid Hosseini. And last but not the least, if you just want to read any book just for the sake of it and you know, just to feel good, the Ruskin Bond is your answer. With that, we have come to the end of the video. I hope. Uh, so with that we've come to the end of the video these are the authors that i have a huge 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 crush on obviously there are many many great writers over there and i haven't even read so many books so please do not take just my word for it i mean there are many 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 writers out there and these are my favorite these were just my opinions and yeah if any of this helps you out please let me know and if you've read any of these books and if you could relate to anything i said so yeah, with that, uh, I'll end the video. I'll see you next time. Bye.